Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the Go Mango Toku Cast. I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have Cindy Blaze and Marco Toa. Boys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about uh, Kamen Rider Build episode 20. This Wonder. was good. <laughs> when is it not? Yeah, what's uh, I do. That? I do remember. I do remember last week we were just like you know, head over heels and we didn't really dive too hard into it. So let's uh, let's try to hit some key points. Mm-hmm. Um, oh Misora. yeah, first thing. Yeah, Misora and the reporter chick, just having like Sawa. The whole... Her name is Sawa. Yeah, <laughs> starting the episode off with just eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there was a lot of eating this episode, and it made me real hungry. Yeah, mm. lots of really good food shots. <laughs> like yeah. the food didn't look like that amazing, but like it was. No, yeah, I know. It, it did like stir up the the yeah. cravings. Yeah, Banjo was eating like like you know instant ramen noodles, but for some reason they looked so good. <laughs> it made me laugh too, cause like he looks like an instant ramen kind of dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I. That that beginning part, it sort of uh, was set up for the the bromance between or the the conflict of the bromance between oh. Build and Banjo. Yo, uh, I thought we I, weren't just gonna fan gas in this episode and actually like talk <gasps> about the episode. Hey, it's that's what they started with. This well, this was seeding the conflict. Okay, technically they started with uh you know Build meeting up with um Rogue guy oh yeah well and they talked about how oh this driver thing is super dangerous and like you know those smashes they're gonna die probably and uh you can use it though because you got a filter or something or other and um don't he die one whole driver i'm gonna make sure you have the uh you know power up so that everyone gets to go back and forth because he's a natural talent and you use science and now we're gonna have you guys uh, stronger and all that because Martians. You know the most like intriguing part about that scene was uh, shoot, what's his name? Bloodstank. He was like walking up the stairs of an abandoned oh, building. Oh, Brad. Yeah, Brad. He was oh, walking up the stairs to this uh, abandoned building, and then he starts going somewhere in that abandoned building. I'm just like. Where? What? Why is he going what up there to like here? exit the scene? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> Remember his last crazy exit where like he he was he stopped the fight between uh the rogue guy and and uh build and then like he was in some you know weird warehouse building and he left by grabbing on a like pole and swinging into the out of out of camera. Yeah. 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 This is a thing for him. I, I look forward yeah. to it every time. Yeah, but that's like a more, you know, logical way to go. Just a logical yeah. way. But he's just going nowhere. I love how like for all all the like if we if we look at like Gaim and like other shows that have handled their stories well, they still really don't know how to how to defuse a fight scene without just making their Either their antagonist or protagonist disappear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was this episode at the end. I remember distinctly. Yeah. No, um, but I do want to touch on like what the consequences of the the hazard trigger are, um, and I, I think it was spelled out like the more you use it, the more it like fires something in your brain and you start to lose control are you talking about the newest one the hazard trigger oh no no it was uh you lose your sense of self oh okay yeah Uh, well i mean banjo's is more of lose your control is it like i feel like it's along the same lines because you just or it's like the rage thing like the more he uses it the more he'll have like those violent tendencies well we have no idea you know what i i think it i think it um i think you know you know how he said Banjo's <gasps> the natural talent while Sento's the mind. So maybe it is Sento losing his mind, what's more important to him. Oh. And then Banjo's is losing his, his the physical, his you know, his body and like that Goodness sort straight. of deterioration. No, I was I was just thinking, what if like you know, using it makes him turn more evil, like his self in the past? 
But see, we don't we don't know enough about his previous self to That's know true. if he truly was evil. That's true. Yeah. Um let's let's move on uh to to seeding the bromance. Uh, <laughs> well, which bromance cuz we have if, two. Yeah, because we have the 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 three guys and their senpai. Yeah, the three stooges cuz uh, I forgot their names. But I'm pretty sure their names are <laughs> Oh, red, oh. yellow and Mr. Bean. Yeah. Mr. Bean. Yeah. <laughs> and their their names are like correlate with their colors. Yeah. That's something Ow, I... like Ow, Aka something. Yeah. Key something and there was some well, kind of drama about how that he didn't remember them uh eh, that, that won't come into play just yet yeah I, like i'm i'm fine with like I, i'm glad that they're seeding it yeah it's nice yeah and it's good to see them like interacting but i don't know right i now, felt like that was a bit like unnecessary drama for drama's sake like the interactions it? he's had with them so far you know they're normal, right? Like, yeah, they don't really need positive. to add, no, like, mean, that layer because they just, like, complicate things that just for complicating things. Well, like, at, at, at the beginning with their introduction that you get a taste of it, but then they get more goofy and lighten up, and then now it's going deeper and deeper, like, you know, just exploring these new layers. Uh, and then we don't go too far into it because now we're on the Banjo-Sento Bromance. Can we get back to that? And, uh, no, fine. no, because we we shafted Grease in our last review. I want to talk about that dude and his fine, little band fine. of boys. His little band his of boys. Band of boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like in the previous episodes, they did talk about like their backstory about like how he did like kind of pull them out of like that financial rut after mm-hmm. like the business kind of went down, and there was like no interaction between like them and uh, Grease, like referring to that, like. I forgot, like, did Greece ever, like, mention that uh, that story to them? Or, like, at least parrot it back? I, I'm well, I mean, pretty like, sure that it was... Uh, well, okay. Like, I just, was he aware I, of that happening? I only remember them talking about it, and then he just kind of, like, brushed it off. Mm-hmm. And there's, there's still more depth to it. He said it's not that I don't, like, I can't remember. It's just it's too hard, and he doesn't want... He doesn't feel like remembering... So maybe maybe it's not necessarily like someone reprogramming his memory. That must have made it harder, possibly. But it might also be it's repressed memories, and he might have had to do dark things in order to give them a life that they they you know so deserved. Yeah, like I like maybe I maybe personally and this is feel, me speculating. Well, I personally feel like that was something that should have been shown in a previous episode. Because, like, in this episode, it felt a lot more like, oh, you don't remember all this stuff in the past. And I was like, what? Since when? And, like, that I, is kind of... I kinda... feel like there's still been something there. Might not have been clear in the last episode, because I don't... Yeah. I wasn't aware. It, it it came as news to me in this episode that he suddenly had this amnesia about it, or he didn't want to remember. That kind of... Cause... No, I, I do remember them lamenting, like, boss, you don't remember us or something, or don't you remember... I guess I forgot. <laughs> but, like, they already kind of have, like, that, you know, relationship. It's not like mm-hmm. something's, like, really changed. Like, I could imagine them having that same relationship, even if he did have his memories. So, I don't know what the whole point of him, like, acquiring them would be. Unless it's just, like, to to add further stuff. Just for adding further I stuff. I Honestly, I felt like it was it was seated earlier. Like, I... I... All right, I'm gonna take. I don't know that I it. distinctly remember. Okay, That's, cool. yeah, it's don't take it's my wrong. words for I'm... words. <laughs> yeah, but if you're wrong, I'm just gonna <coughs> Great. shove your cool. face in some dirt. Yeah, <laughs> boys, we're almost ten minutes in. Can we get to the bromance? Okay, <laughs> yeah, we gotta save the best part. The <clears throat> oh wait, no, actually, you know, I will stop us there. Uh, I want to go back to Misora and Sawa, like it, the scene that they had together. In the nurses, or you know, in the nurses' uniforms, and them, you know, hiding their faces, we saw maybe one of the most confident underlings. Yeah. Like ever. Wait. A Hold minute. on. I know your face. I know yeah, your face. You did a thing to me. That's <laughs> great. That was great. Yeah. Like it was so. I mean, I loved it, but it was so jarring because this doesn't happen. It doesn't. What? When? It, when? When do characters act like people 
in Kamen Rider. This is so weird. Hey, I know your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you say to someone who's already like running away or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you just stop and just, hey, I know your face. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, that that chain of events, though, it led to the unseating of uh, Night Rogue's last shred of dignity. Yeah, pretty much. And, I mean, I felt so bad for Scragglebeard, but... I, I did, too. Not... I really did, because he's, like, just trying to... At, like, at this point, he's not going off of some selfish, like, power thing. He's more of, I'm trying to protect our region from being taken over maybe that's his own selfish ambition or whatever but he's still no but he wants he wants all of japan reunited okay but like in order to do that it'll have to be under him he wants power yeah but like with this episode like in particular i actually did sympathize with him a bit and so did bonjo because like they're trying to like end this war as soon as possible yeah like he could be lying there could be some like underlying secret that we don't know about but from what we had in this episode they could be like mass producing hard smashes and i don't think bill no or Sen- but or not Sento, or uh shoot what's his claws could like shoot, yeah you know but Bonjo don't don't forget it. don't forget he's the one that stoked the flame of this war Huh? So, remember oh, yeah. so anything any any big military action he wants to do is because he started this war so it is all for his own agenda but was it like completely his fault because i feel like it uh, wasn't there was brad there was, was underlying like... tension yeah brad was doing the whole behind the scenes stuff trying to like you know get into everybody's pocket and then on top of that it was almost like they were already plotting to take over anyways to attack and he just called her out remember he's like why are we even mincing words yeah like that lady for sure was already building the army so yeah. right no no no. but he still wanted it right it, it's his ambition oh, yeah no i'm not that saying war that he's, and, he's like, bad he's not bad but like i felt like he was doing a couple of things that weren't the worst in the situation like taken in a vacuum yes those are good decisions. They need to strike first or else they'll be hit. But it's all going according to his own plan. Well, because that's what he wanted. <laughs> he wanted all out war so then he could take over Japan. Yeah. Like, if you compare, like, uh, like despite how much I sympathize with him, if you compare his actions to that of his father, like, his father wanted, like, peace. He doesn't want, like, even yeah. though, like, all three of them have de- developing, like, military, they all know it. Like, I'm pretty sure that the old dude was aware of, like, some of the stuff that was going on with his mm-hmm. military. Yeah. But, you know, he didn't want to, like, escalate to that point while, you know, Night Rogue was all like, you know what? We all want to. Might as well do it. And it's like, no, there's <laughs> a huge civilian cause at the stake here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And th- that's something that we can't really forgive his character for, even though I really mm-hmm. wanted him to kind of, like, move away from that role as a villain mostly because like that actor his design overall i feel like if he was wearing different clothes or something change the style a bit he would be more intimidating but right now he's just he's such a black character he has like no screen presence except like he just when he's like yelling when he's then yelling can, yeah, then we just he's, have to hear even him. then he can't even fire a rifle right and he looks so weird doing it. i would i'm i'm happy to see him like get knocked down like the star scream he is because i hope to see him come back more powerful with the power up i really I hope the star scream never comes back more powerful well i yeah <laughs> i agree i agree mostly with uh alex's like you know long-standing opinion of he works great as an ally like you know we have to reluctantly work with him. Uh-huh. It sucks, but you know, yeah, as an ally, like, like that's where he. It brought really an sh- interesting sh- dynamic to Bonjo and Sento. Yeah, because like they were always especially for the bromance. Okay, okay. Don't I'm... mess up this transition. We're moving. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Uh. So my my big thing, uh, about this whole development, right, is uh that it was good and I liked it. Okay, guys, see you next week.
Yeah, anyways, thanks for listening. See ya. Oh Keep my it juicy. goodness. Um, I, I, like, they started doing the flashbacks <laughs> and stuff, and it could have hit harder than it did. Really? For me. Really? I know. Because Banjo's a boxer. He hits pretty hard. What do you think, Alex? Uh, about what in particular? Like, this entire bromance that they've been setting well, up the past I mean, it, it kind of all, like, this conflict... The, the... Like, it all did sort of culminate here, and I do, like... You know, it, it was that sort of hard-headed, not necessarily misunderstanding, but, like, misleading them. And then that moment where he was about to reveal his true feelings for Sento, and then he got taken away by, uh, yeah. by Night Rogue. Well, I, I wouldn't say true feelings. It felt like he was about to throw down with him, like, beat him up. No, he... No, no, no. no, no. Like, Banjo was like, no, that's not why I'm doing it. It's because... And then Night Rogue steps in. Oh. Yeah, like, Banjo's still kind of prideful. Like, even though he's fighting for Sento's sake, he's not going to tell it to Sento, because, like, dude, come on. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's basically but, like, the reason his hand... why. His hand was forced, and then when he goes to Misora later, you know, and then, yeah, and so then, then Sento does the whole Sundara thing, and then it's like, oh, Baka. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, it was wonderful. It was wonderfully convoluted. Well, I, I really did like <laughs> that. You know, it what it, it wasn't the stereotypical like, oh, he's just a meathead. He's just trying to like fight and stuff. Because he's stupid, it he was doing it for a good purpose, and so yeah, no, it's and also because these characters are actual people, yeah, like, like they feel like real people. Yeah, so. I mean, like Banjo's still a meathead when it comes to this stuff. He's not really, like <laughs> overly complicating it, but mm -hmm. I feel like it's been mentioned before that that's like one of his strong points is that he doesn't yeah, like overthink yeah. it, and he just, he just kind of like goes with his gut. It's also yeah, yeah. Perfect, oh, yeah. and he still has motivations. Yeah, and oh. they're pure because he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, the ones at the um, beginning aren't like the strongest yeah. motivations anymore because it's kind of impossible <laughs> mm -hmm. at this point. Uh, so we are we are running a bit long. Uh, we will touch more on the uh, the new hazard trigger form uh, that just came out next week because we didn't really get too much of it this week. Uh, anyways, guys, tell Wait, us in the comments down below. We did at the very we did. end. Yeah. At the very end, he was a he yeah. like he put it on, and then we didn't see him actually do anything. Yeah, babe. Yeah, 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 yeah babe. We didn't actually <laughs> see remember. him like. Oh no! All right, I think we only Great. get like the reveal next episode, technically. Anyways, guys, I think that just about does it for us. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Ugh! Tell us in the comments down below what you thought about this. Uh, uh, that really <laughs> threw me off. Guys, keep it juicy. You know I'm doing it. Okay, see you guys. Yo, is Jordan okay? All right, see ya.